Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. So nothing captures the unique Lone Star State than a good old fashioned rodeo. The crowds, the excitement, the cowboys, it's all a wild ride that every true Texan should experience at least once in their lifetime, right? Well, our next destination offers all of that and a whole lot more by taking this great American pastime to an entirely new level. So break out your studs in and dust off your boots because we're on our way to Uvalde for the one and only Cactus Jack bull riding competition. This is Uvalde, known as the honey capital of the world, nicknamed the city of trees and home of former Vice President John Nance Garner and the Cactus Jack PBR bull riding competition. Which brings us here. You know we've seen pro bull riding on TV and at the rodeo, but this time we're getting up close and personal with the bull riders themselves and with the folks that put on the show. Let's go. And to begin with, we spoke with Mayor Don McLaughlin to find out a deeper meeting about this exciting event. The Cake Jack Foundation started about seven years ago, and then when we talked about different things, we didn't want to do it for profit, we wanted to do it for our community. And so the way we did it, we, we went to the schools and said, we want to throw this event, and we want to take that money, and we want to help the students and the teachers for some of the supplies that the schools won't buy for them or different things. So I mean, it, it's been a real... It's been a real inspiration for us. It takes a community to do what we've been able to do, and the, and the community has really embraced it. So it's it's really been good. And it's a great place to be. Great place to be. Your body's a great place to be. <laughs> I mean, you know, Hondo may have it's only God's country. Please don't drive through it like hell. But <laughs> God, God, God just loves you, Valdi. So, <laughs> yeah. but. Uh, it takes the community's involvement to do all that. And that's what makes it so special That's what too. makes it so, so special. So after a short ride and a warm welcome, we met up with the other, much bigger athletes of the competition. You only live once, right? <laughs> okay, y'all, you know we're always bringing you the latest and greatest from the Lone Star State. So when we heard that the pop culture event Celebrity Fan Fest was coming back to San Antonio with even more celebrities and entertainment, you know we're checking it out. Celebrity Fan Fest is San Antonio's premier comic convention and it's coming back the weekend of June 14th through the 16th at the Freeman Coliseum and Expo Halls. Get ready because not only will two-time Academy Award nominee Jeremy Renner be there, but also Vision himself, Paul Bettany, and WWE superstars Becky Lynch and Daniel Bryan have been added to the guest list. Plus, returning by popular demand, Celebrity Fan Fest favorite Jason Momoa, except this time Aquaman is bringing some of his fellow co-stars, including Amber Heard. New to the lineup, fresh off his recent role in Once Upon a Deadpool, most notably known as the star of the Wonder Years, Fred Savage will join the growing list of celebrities. More star appearances will be announced in the upcoming days and weeks, and Yellow Texas is giving you a chance to experience all of the action. Yes, that's right, we are giving away a pair of three-day VIP passes, plus a photo op with one of these celebrities. All you have to do is like both YOLO Texas and Celebrity Fan Fest on Facebook, tag a friend, and share the post. That's it. So what are you waiting for? Grab your tickets right now at CelebrityFanFest.com. Again, that's CelebrityFanFest.com, and we cannot wait to see you out there. When we come back, the competition bucks up at the Cactus Jack bull riding, so stick around. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we are in front of Uvalde County Fairplex, where in just a few hours, some of the most die-hard rodeo fans are about to come here, hooting and hollering, waiting to experience some of the best bull riding and fighting in the entire country. I'm excited, you're excited, so let's go inside and check it out. Referred to as the most dangerous dance on dirt, Cactus Jack Bull Riding is a three-day event where world-famous cowboys vie for a chance to add to their season totals and move up in world rankings. And the best part? It's all for a good cause with every dollar going toward empowering local youth. Just ask Rodeo Hall of Famer Leon Coffey. So let's talk about these pants. There's something special about them. So who made them and why are you wearing them? <laughs> There's not a lot of stars or, or anybody or any kind of celebrities that come down and visit. 
uh, these schools or anything. So these kids really think a lot of me down here. And yeah. Rob's school has made me a pair of pants <laughs> every year for about, about four years now. Wow. So I wear them everywhere in the United States. But it gives these kids something that they don't get all the time. Right. And for me to wear it, it's a great honor for me to wear it for them. Yeah. So that's yeah. why I do it. And I love that uh, this sport does so much for the community. And I love that you get to travel with it and show yeah. the world Uvalde, Texas. Uvalde, Texas. Awesome. You know, <laughs> not many people can do that. Yeah. So I, I, I'm, I'm privileged. <laughs> And in true rodeo fashion, the night was packed with tons of entertainment. But one sport you may not see very often, how about American freestyle bullfighting? Well, American freestyle bullfighting is a competition between one man and one animal. Uh, these are the same type of fighting bulls that they use in Spain or Mexico. Uh, here in the United States, it's a complete bloodless sport. It's gonna be 45 seconds of jam packs action, you know, a uh, lot of danger. Uh, a lot of intensity. It's going to be the most intense 45 seconds you ever witnessed. And intense it was. Every moment of this competition kept me and everyone around me on the edge of our seats. And then it was time for the final rides of the night. From the heart stopping to the heroic, my favorite part had to be witnessing the best of the best in the Cactus Jack title. Alrighty, so three days of competition came down to this close one, but you won it all. How does this feel for you? Oh, this feels awesome. This is a great event, and it goes towards a great cause, and I'm just happy to be here and help support that cause, and get the win is just a icing on the cake, I guess. What goes through your mind when you're eye-to-eye -eye with the bull and it's coming straight at you? i tell you what, there's probably not a guy here that was more scared than me, and i tell every guy back behind the suits, everybody that's competing, and they know I'm the one that's scared the most. And I just give it all to God and just jump and run fast and <laughs> hopefully he don't hit me. Hey guys, you're champion for tonight. So today was absolutely amazing. We got a behind the scenes looks at this incredible sport. We got to talk to some of the best athletes and we got front row seat to one of the most exhilarating shows I've ever been to. I want to say thank you to Cactus Jack Foundation for letting us come out here. We had an absolute time of our lives. Interested in learning about the Cactus Jack Foundation and about all the other events going on in Uvalde? Visit the links below to learn more. <laughs>